Hi guys and welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make this monkey bread. Let's begin. To start on the recipe you'll want to grab yourself a mixing bowl and into the mixing bowl you'll want to place all of your bread flour along with the salt and give the two a good mix until they are fully combined. Once you've done that you can go ahead and add in the remaining ingredients starting with the yeast followed by the milk powder, the butter, the sugar, egg, vanilla and milk then give it a good mix on a low speed to start with, working your way up to a medium high speed and until the dough forms. Around two minutes for the slow and then six minutes on a medium high speed. The dough won't be very firm, so you will need to work with it as it will be very soft, but this is completely normal. So don't worry, don't add more and more flour while you're mixing it. You can work some more in as you need and this will get you to the perfect consistency that you need. You can then go ahead and generously flour your work surface with bread flour and place the dough onto it. Sprinkle a little more on top of the dough and then just start to knead it. You may need to add more flour as you go along. This is completely normal but don't add too much otherwise you may ruin the dough. So once the dough is easier to work with you can bring the dough back into a ball shape and then place that into your lightly oiled bowl where you can leave it then covered with some cling film for around an hour or until the dough has doubled in size. Once your dough has doubled in size you'll then want to go ahead and flour your work surface with just some bread flour. Here is what my dough looked like. You'll just want to then empty it onto a work surface and knock it back. This is just a process of removing the gases that have built up in the dough during the first proof. I find it easiest to bring the dough back into a ball shape as that's just what works for me but feel free to work with the dough however you like. When you've got it back into however you want to work with it, cut it in half. Then with the half, just cut off a section around a quarter and just start breaking it up into smaller, more bite-sized pieces. You'll then want to set these aside, ensuring that it's all covered so nothing is going to skin over. Once you've done that, you can then go ahead and get your bowl of cinnamon sugar, place the pieces of dough into it and just give them all a good coating with the cinnamon sugar. You can then go ahead and place this into your prepared bump pan which has just been greased with some butter and flour. You can then continue to do this with your dough and placing them in, making sure that you've got an even coverage all the way around the bun pan until you've used up all of your dough. So once you've got all of your dough cutouts into your bun pan, you can then cover the bun pan loosely with cling film and leave to proof for around 45 minutes to an hour until it's well proved. It should reach the top of the tin. You can then remove the cling film off the top and place into your preheated oven and bake it off. All of that information will be on the blog post which will be linked down below. Here is what mine looked like once it was fully baked and cooled. I then want to go out of the tin and this is the most nerve wracking part. If you haven't greased or lined, well not lined, but not greased your pan properly, it won't come out very easily, but luckily for me it did this time. And here is what it looks like once it's fully baked and cooled. You can enjoy it now. I know you'd normally pick away at it as you can tell where the lines are, but I thought I'd cut into it so you could see where they all are inside so you'd see the lines of cinnamon and sugar and I think it's a really nice bread it's light and airy and fluffy perfect type of bread for this time of year so thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more from me and I'll be back again on Thursday with another video so join me then but in the meanwhile don't forget to check out the description there'll be a link to this blog post a link to my blog and links to all of my social media so don't forget to go and check those out if you're interested in following me elsewhere outside of youtube but that's all for today bye guys